card out and follow that. Uh... <laughs> Basically, this story involves a, um, a runaway dog, a Hawaiian-themed Christmas and a trifle. I'm in. I'm totally so, uh... in. We invited a couple of people over, a friend of mine, um, Rich Hall, you know, the comedian. Amazing. And his wife, Karen, who is a very good cook, and she made a lovely trifle oh. uh, to bring over in a beautiful antique glass coupe. bowl. A coupe. A coupe, exactly. <laughs> and um, as we found out later on, this trifle had been a bit of a bone of contention with them because she'd made the trifle in a cheap bowl and then she thought, no, I can't put it in a cheap bowl. Ooh. I've got to put it in a nice bowl, yeah. right? So already there was tension about this trifle. Christmas you know? tench, always. Anyway, they loaded all the stuff into the house, two small children, the trifle was on the bench in the front garden. <laughs> and um, we've also got a rescue dog called Tiger. I said, oh, don't worry, I'll get the trifle. And then the dog came out into the front garden oh. and he saw the open gate, saw his chance, thought, ah, oh, this is it, I'm off. <laughs> it was one of those moments where the dog caught my eye <laughs> and then I looked at the open gate and he looked at the open gate and then he looked back at me. <laughs> It was a standoff. It was like, you know, <laughs> who's going to crack first? And then I nudged forward a bit, and he went forward a bit. And then I looked at the gate again, he looked at the gate, looked back at me. And then I didn't... fatally didn't put the trifle down, and I made a run for the gate. Now, here's the thing, <laughs> never, ever run with trifle in an antique uh, glass bowl. <laughs> so, inexplicably, I was airborne horizontally through the air. You know, like, no! Like that. The dog... I just caught a glimpse of his ass going out of the gate oh, and up the road, and the next minute, poof, I landed and I had an overwhelming sensation of sherry up my nose. Oh. Cream, almond, yeah. soil from the garden. <laughs> the whole family is standing around watching me and a bemused <laughs> passerby who just stopped at the gate <laughs> on Christmas Day going, what the... F <laughs> and then we had to get the dog back. So, Christmas Day that year, I was wandering the streets of Hammersmith, covered in blood and trifle, <laughs> and a Hawaiian shirt on, shouting, Tiger! <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 looks like we might have a skeleton in the closet. Uh -oh. Please reveal yourself, mystery skeleton. <laughs> Out you come. <laughs> yeah! Rich! Hello, Rich, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank um, you. <laughs> Rich, tell us your side of the story. First of all, let's talk about the dog. <laughs> if you go to Bill's house, there'll be things at your feet, Nibbling at you, <laughs> be things in your crotch. And that's just yeah. his wife, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> that is Bill, in a nutshell. Bill just takes in animals, and he had this dog. And I want to use that term loosely. <laughs> We're talking more of a jackal. <laughs> so I went after the dog. Oh. I went into a shop. There was one shop open on Christmas Day <laughs> selling heretical items. So I bought a pepperami. Oh, the smell of those. Oof. I know, I know, they're Oof. awful. And Oof. I tried to give it the dog, and even he had dignity. Now, Rich, you do have the look of you that says you've had your antique trifle bowl <laughs> smashed. Antique? No. Oh. Uh, Swarovski. <gasps> no. Oh. You're joking. Oh, that is, like, the most expensive of crystal wear, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Hall! <laughs> 